Okay, good evening, everyone. Okay, we just go for the question eight. Okay, the trolley moved to the inclined plane. Okay, sure, the velocity will be increasing. Okay, we got inclined plane. Okay, so from here, they say about a thicker timer. Okay, they show 50 hertz. So when they show 50 hertz, then we understood dot to dot, this one take 0 0.02 second. Okay, so this one is what we understand from the question and also the diagram. Okay, now we see the ticker tape. Okay, they produce from the motion, the moving motion of the trolley. Okay, this one means the P should be the starting point. Okay, the first dot to come out because I find it that accelerate. Because you drop, sure the velocity increase, so that means accelerate. So P should be the first dot, then T is a behind one. Okay, I can say PQ should be the U. As T should be the final velocity. Okay, so from here, what type of the current we use for ticker timer? So the current, suppose they're using the alternating current. Okay, if you just write a dot C, better you write current. Okay, because a dot C just one of the symbol. Okay, or you just write alternating. Okay, current. So this one is a full words. Okay, so this one is a ticker timer. We're using alternating current. Okay, number two, B. One tick is represent the time taken from point to another point. So whatever. Okay, you can P to Q. You also can Q to R. But you cannot say P go to R because we want to find out the ticks actually is a consecutive. Okay, the next one. So from here, we, if I start from P, so the next one should be the Q. Okay, if you start from R, so the next one should be S. Okay, so either one should be the answer. Okay, then we continue number three. What is the time taken by the trolley? Move from the P to the Q. So P to the Q, that means one ticks. So we show the calculation, one over 50. So we get 0 0.02 second. Okay, after that, number three, they ask about the motion of the trolley. Motion, we only can mention velocity or you want to mention acceleration. Okay, we cannot mention slow or faster. So for this one situation, we find it velocity increase. You, you also can say about acceleration. Okay, uniform or not uniform, that means you need to measure. Okay, we never measure, so we didn't put uniform. Okay, we just put uh, velocity increase. Okay, or you just write acceleration. Okay, so this one should be the answer. Okay, this one is the number eight. Okay, any question about number eight? Then we go to, this one should be number nine. Eh? Okay, we see the diagram. Diagram show about a boy playing a skateboard. Okay, so from starting point A, then go to the point B, then until to the C. They show you the time. Okay? After that, they show you the velocity. Okay, then we continue. What's the meaning of acceleration? Okay? So I want to ask the students for here. Lao Chen Yu, what's the meaning of acceleration? Uh, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Okay, so this one is a full definition. Sir. So normally we seldom using the formula to explain. Uh, you can say a velocity per time. Suppose this one uh, normally we not accept it. Lah, unless no choice. You totally do know. Don't blank the question. So you just write. Okay, remember, we don't write formula. Huh? We cannot write like this. Okay, this one is wrong. This one is not definition. This one is formula. So if you totally forget, so you just say velocity okay, per time. Taken. So this one may be, like, they will give you the marks. Okay, before we do know the schema answer. Okay, sometimes they accepted, sometimes they're not accepted. Better than you blank the question. So from here, actually, there's a rate of 
okay, change of velocity. Okay, when you see the word rate off, means the formula must be over time. Okay, now based on the diagram 2.1 above, calculate the acceleration of the boy from A to B. Acceleration, eh? So A to B. So this one is the starting, then this one is another one. So A to B, we calculate the acceleration. So from here, the acceleration is V minus U. V is a 2. 2 minus 0. Okay, time taken is 2 seconds. So that means we get 1 ms negative 2. Okay, for the A to B, the acceleration. So we just show from here. Uh, there's a 2 minus 0 over 2. Then equal 1 ms negative 2. So this one is acceleration A to B. Then the next one is the acceleration of the boy from B to C. Okay, B to C. You can see B to C, yeah? Okay, B to C. So C is the final. B is the initial. So we take 3.5 minus 2 over 5 minus 2. There's a 3 seconds. Okay, so after that, you press your calculator, you should be get the answer is 1.5 over 3, 0 0.5 ms, maybe 2. Okay, we just convert, we write here, 3.5 minus 2 over 3, 0 0.5 ms, maybe 2. Okay. Okay, linear motion graph should be the 2.2. .2. Okay, we need to analyzing the graph. From the graph, we only got three types of the graph. Okay, we got ST graph, displacement versus time. Number two is a, a velocity versus time. And number three is a acceleration versus time. So from these three graph, we need to analyzing the information from the graph. Okay, that means we can convert. From the velocity graph, uh, we can convert become displacement. From the acceleration, we can convert become a velocity or you reverse also can. Okay, we go through this part first. Okay, linear motion graph. Okay, we see uh, what's a linear motion graph. Huh? Okay, interpreta uh, interpretation of the graph is important to understanding the linear motion of the object. So that means from the graph, we need to know the motion, the object. Now is how moving. Okay, the motion graph is useful. Okay, the method, they want to summarize the motion of the object. Okay, now they got two main types. Okay, suppose three main types. Lah, but the velocity is a medium and the acceleration is the highest level. So from here, suppose normally we're using is a, a, this one that can go up. They also can be go down. Okay, but displacement, we only can go to the velocity. Okay, then the acceleration, normally they cannot go anyway. Okay, you want to balance, okay, but you need to do more calculations. Okay, normally we change is a displacement, change to velocity, or velocity go to acceleration. We seldom using acceleration, then you pata balance become velocity. Okay, so from here, the two main here, the first one, we will use it. B, we also will use it. Okay, number three, uh, we also plot, but we need to find velocity first, then we find acceleration. Okay, later with three graph uh, can be shown together. Eh? Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, we separate by three. ST graph, displacement, VT graph, and AT graph. Okay, first round. <clears throat> when I find a situation like this, displacement versus time, we find this one situation means rest. Now the object is rest. Okay, when the object rests, you see the velocity. Sure, nothing. V equals zero. Because when I find gradient, okay, remember the gradient? Gradient is Y over X. So now the Y is a displacement over time. So displacement over time actually is a velocity. So conclusion, I can say gradient for the 
ST graph. That's a equal to the velocity. Okay, so from here, I find a gradient equal to the zero. So that means velocity equal to the zero. So when I want to plot the graph, actually, there's a nothing. Okay, if the velocity equal to nothing, so we no need to say about acceleration. Nah? Sure, it's nothing already. Okay, don't have any motion. Okay, so from here, we can write object at rest. Okay, understand? We just see the graph only. See the displacement graph or see the velocity graph. If the velocity graph is nothing, means the object is rest. Okay, so this is the first situation. Okay, we go second situation. Okay, now the displacement already up. Okay, so this one normally how you go to explain. You're just talking displacement increase. Okay, displacement increase. So if I draw the triangle, uh, this one got gradient. This one got gradient. Okay, if I put the reading, this one is a 10. Okay, this one is a 5. So that means you got coordinate 5, 10. You can find gradient. Okay, your gradient equal velocity. So your gradient is how many? 10 over 5. That's a 2. Ms, negative 1. So that means now I can get the gradient. The gradient is constant. There's a 2. So that means every point on the line, there's the same gradient. Same gradient means same velocity. Now I convert to velocity graph. So this one should be 2. 2 ms negative 1 because just now I fire already. So we can say constant velocity. This one also constant velocity. Okay, you can say displacement increase. You also can say velocity constant. Constant with how many? 2 ms negative 1. Okay, now I want to convert to AT graph. So you want to find the A. Acceleration actually is a velocity over the time. Okay, so from here, if you want to find this one gradient, this one graph gradient, G equal V y over x so v over t so i can say the gradient is a acceleration okay so displacement time you want to find velocity you find gradient velocity you want to find acceleration you find gradient so from here vt graph vt graph is no gradient there's a flat flat cannot find the gradient so i can say gradient equals zero so that means acceleration equals zero. So I draw at the bottom here, zero. Okay. So for this one situation, we can say object moving with uniform velocity. You also can say zero acceleration. Okay. It's the same meaning. Okay. You also can say displacement increase uniformly. Okay, you can see the sequence. Huh? When the displacement is rest, velocity is zero. Okay, when the displacement up increasing, the velocity is constant. Then the acceleration is zero. So that means you can see the displacement should be starting first. Then the last one should be the acceleration. Okay, displacement should be the motion become fast first, become increasing first. Okay, then the acceleration should be the late one. Okay, then we continue. Huh? Now the uh, displacement, we make it changes again. Okay, displacement, I change already. Just now increase. Okay, now laggy increase. You can see curve already. When the curve, you see the gradient. The gradient is keep increasing. Okay, so from here, this one, you cannot say constant. <clears throat> you just can say displacement increase. Okay, not constant really, increase only. Okay, so from here, if I find the gradient, so the gradient should be different. Okay, so when I plot the graph, gradient for the velocity, there's a velocity increase. That means every point you get the gradient is a different. Maybe this one one, this one two, this one three. So when I just convert to VT graph, they become increase. Okay, so this one we say velocity. 
increase linear, uh, uniformly. Okay, so now I want to go to AT graph. So AT graph, you find gradient. No? So this one constant, so I find the gradient should be same number. You find gradient, 90 degrees. So I get flat. Okay, acceleration is constant. Okay, so from here, you can see what's a different sequence. Okay, displacement already wake up, wake up to the highest location. Then uh, the displacement, uh, then the velocity only increase uh, uniformly. Then finally, you see the acceleration. Acceleration only flat. Okay, now we can say the object is moving. Uniform acceleration. You also can say uh, velocity increase uniformly. Okay, it's the same meaning. Okay, normally we mention it's the acceleration of velocity. Like we sometimes using displacement to explain the motions. Okay, so from here, I go to conclude back what we're talking about. Huh? Okay, so from here, you see uh, the first round is displacement graph is wake up. So VT graph is just still sleeping, nothing. Okay, AT graph, we don't need to mention that. Uh, because this one sleep at this sure is nothing. Okay, now the second part. Okay, this place of wake up already, they go to toilet. Okay, they go to toilet already, so increasing. So you can see the VT graph just want to wake up. Okay, just want to wake up. So the AT graph is what? AT graph still sleeping. Okay, still sleeping. Okay, then I continue. Okay, now the ST graph go to toilet already, then they come out for breakfast. Uh, you can see the curve already go to breakfast already. Then the VT graph only, only wake up, go to toilet. Then you see the acceleration graph, only wake up. So you can see the AT graph always is the late one. Okay, the ST curve is a starting first. So they just copy, copy the, the pattern only. So you need to know which one should be the starting, which one should be the late one. Okay, you need to plot the graph. Okay, so the gradient for the ST equal velocity increase constant. Okay, you find the gradient, they keep increasing. So the velocity is an increase constant. Okay, gradient for the VT graph, they equal to the acceleration constant. Okay, this one is increase constant for the velocity. But acceleration only constant. Okay, and then we go to the next part. Okay, now you can see ST graph, we cannot read already because over already. Okay, now I change. VT graph keep increasing. Okay, you can see they keep increasing. The gradient becomes sharp and sharp. The gradient not constant. The gradient got number already. Okay, the gradient maybe is two, three, four already. So from here, when I want to change become acceleration graph, they will increasing. Okay, but increasing uniform. Okay, so that means just now the VT graph is wake up. Okay, now they go to breakfast. Go to breakfast is a curve. Huh? So the AT graph only go toilet. Okay, so this one is flat means wake up. Okay, so this one means you go toilet. Okay, this one means you go breakfast. So now VT graph already go breakfast. So the AT graph only go toilet. So that means you need to see uh, which one should be the first, which one should be the last. Okay. So if totally like this means what? Uh, nothing. Nothing means you are asleep. Okay. So remember VT, AT, and ST. That's a different for the graph. But from there, we can find the meaning of the graph. Okay, you also know how to convert. Okay, so from here, we never exactly to draw the graph. We just say there's a sketch. We sketch only, just like this one. Okay, they increase. I know they increase. Increase how many? I don't know. I just know the constant. So I just draw the line. There's a constant for the acceleration time graph. 
Okay, increase how many actually I do know. I just sketching. So from here, the object is moving, increasing velocity. Okay, now the velocity is not uniform, huh? only increasing velocity. This one say constant acceleration. So constant acceleration increase. Or you write like acceleration increase constantly, also can. So important, this one got increase, after that got constant. So increase velocity, you cannot put constant because now it's not constant already. Okay? So from here, the name uh, you will create by yourself. But important is a graph, how to plot. Okay, then we're going to see the next one. Okay, drop. Now you can see drop. Okay, so the gradient is drop means when I want to find the velocity, there's a dropping lah. Okay, the velocity graph should be dropped. So when I want to find a section, this one graph sure gradient is a negative. Gradient negative means there's a bottom. Okay, they must negative something, negative two. Okay, so they put flat line at the bottom. So this one we say object moving, deceleration. Okay, or you say velocity decreases. Decreases uniformly because they decrease uniform. So just now we learned so much already. So now we're going to see this one. We how to go to plot lah. Okay, so from here we need to start how to plot the graph. Okay, you see here. The first one they said velocity. So when mention velocity, we're going to see the velocity graph lah. You don't need to see the other first. We're going to see the velocity. Zero velocity means nothing. You don't need to draw one. Okay. Zero velocity means you're still sleeping. Okay, how about the ST graph? You see sleep, that means this one already wake up. Wake up should be flat. Okay, this one cannot be. Okay, then we go through the next one. Negative velocity. Okay, negative velocity means velocity is negative. Okay, negative velocity. So what happened negative velocity? This one should be Okay, because you already is a negative velocity, so that means this one gradient sure negative. So the gradient same like the velocity. So velocity become negative. So from here, what you think about acceleration? Acceleration is nothing because you are constant, so they're still flat at the zero. So A is still equal to the zero because this one constant. Okay, now we see constant velocity. Constant velocity means constant velocity. Okay, constant velocity, what happened for the ST? The ST must be. Okay, so for the acceleration, A equals zero. Okay, when you see velocity is constant, acceleration actually is no, nothing. Okay, we cannot, we just say acceleration equal to the zero. Okay, now constant acceleration. So we go and see acceleration. Constant acceleration means like this. Okay, this one is already flat. So velocity, velocity time graph sure is a one step faster than the acceleration. So from here, this one should be. Okay, how about the ST? ST is a, another step faster. So this one should be. Okay. So this one is a constant acceleration. Okay, constant deceleration. So we're going to see a deceleration part. Lah. So this one is called constant deceleration. Constant deceleration means you already is a uh is a slowdown. Okay, it's a slowdown. So from here is a slowdown means a slowdown like this. Lah. Okay, this one we call velocity decreases. Velocity decreases means the gradient also is a negative. Okay, how about this one? This one should be. Okay, so this one should be the answer for displacement time graph. So this all is a conclusion. Okay, conclusion between for the tree of the graph, we need to know the motions. Okay, any question about this one drawing? You can ask her about this one drawing because later we need to one by one to see. 
sometimes we need to convert also. Okay, so this one's the first one. Then second one, negative. Okay, after that we got constant velocity. Then we got constant acceleration. Then we got constant decelerations. Okay, if no, we go back to PowerPoint. I'm going to show you some of the meaning for this diagram. Okay, so for this one, you can refer your textbook. Lah. There's the same thing from there. Okay, now we need to determine distance, displacement, and velocity. Okay, the first round, the motorcycle, you can see initial point and final point of the motorcycle rider to the right. Okay, we take right-hand side is a positive direction. Left-hand side is a negative. So the motorcycle, they start from here, start from A. Then they move 100 meter to the right. So we take positive 100. Lah. Okay, from here until to the B, they turn back. Turn back. Okay, to the left. Uh, to the left means already is a negative 100 meter. Okay, until this part, until from the B, they go back to the A. So actually the displacement already is zero because you're from the starting point, you go to ending point, it's the same point. So displacement already is a zero. So now the motorcycle, they continue to move, move to the left, okay, for 50 meters. So this one 50 meters should be negative 50 meter so this one negative means opposite directions okay not because of the slowdown uh, it's opposite directions so this one is a what info i get it from the diagram okay so from here we can see the graph okay the graph is a a to b okay a to b 100 meter then b to c okay they say rest the rest for three seconds Okay, from the C, they go to D. So that means the pata balik go to the original place. Okay, D to E, they also rest a while for two seconds. Okay, after that, E to F means this one is the opposite direction. This one also opposite. This one is the opposite. This one is a displacement time graph. Huh? Okay, when it just come back means already it's opposite. This one is over the original place, already over starting point, then you opposite some more. So this one we call it below the graph means already over the original point. You already go another side more than the original point. So more how many? Negative 50. Okay, so displacement graph, when you see displacement time graph, when it just up, then it drop. Drop already is opposite. Eh? Okay, when it just drop someone, this one means already over the original point. You lagi opposite. You continue opposite. Okay, so this one still opposite. Okay, now we go to uh, understanding the diagram. Okay, we need to find one part by one part. What's the meaning? Eh? Part A, B. A to B. A to B, eh? okay, you see A to B, they keep increasing, is it? Means the gradient got, eh? the gradient equal velocity. That means here got velocity. So from here, you can say motorcycle is riding for the distance 100 meter, okay? To the right for five seconds. So from here, we know there's a five second. Then they move 100 meter. Okay, they move 100 meter. After that, we find the gradient. Because we need to know what is the velocity. So I need to find gradient. So the gradient is 100 minus 0, 5 minus 0. So there's a y over x. So I get it, 20. Okay, so if I want to plot the graph for the VT, VT graph, 0 to 5 second, my graph should be constant. Constant how many? 20. Okay, constant 20. So from here, therefore, the velocity of the motorcycle is 20 ms negative 1 to the right-hand side. So there's a positive gradient. So I say there's a right-hand side. Okay, then we go to the second part. 
Okay, second part is a B to C. B to C. B to C, the gradient equals zero. Means equal velocity also zero. So from here, we can say velocity equals zero means how to plot the graph. The graph VT should be flat. Zero, uh, zero flat bottom. Nothing. Nothing means you are rest. Okay, now the motorcycle stops for three seconds. Rest for three seconds. Gradient is zero. Therefore, velocity also zero. So from here, three seconds here, V equals Okay, then we continue to the C to D. Now, C to D, you can see they drop already. They go back to the original location. So that means they patah balik. Okay? So from here, you can see C to D, the motorcycle is right turned back to the initial point. That's an A. Use how long the time? They use four seconds. Four seconds, so I need to find. They patah balik, the velocity is how many? So I find by gradient. 0 minus 100, 12 minus 8. Sure, my answer is a negative. So I get negative 25. Okay, the negative 25, not because of the slowdown. Not slowdown. That's a pata balik. So from here, the velocity motorcycle actually is a 25. The negative means what? Left-hand side. Okay? So the negative means they turn back. The 25 is a velocity. Okay, they're still increasing the velocity, but they turn back only. So this one is a meaning for the C to D. Okay, now we go D to E. D to E, we continue again, rest. Okay, they rest. They go back to the original point. They rest for two seconds. So gradient equals zero, means velocity also equal to the zero. Okay, now I continue E. To D, uh, E to F. E to F, you can see they go down. Means they still continue to move opposite direction. Okay? They go to the initial already. They never patabale. They still continue to move. Okay? So from here, we go to explain EF. Motorcycle, they right turn to the left hand side for 50 meter. Uh, this one. Okay? The negative means left. They go left hand side 50 meter. Then you need to find the gradient. This one velocity is how many? This one velocity is a 8.33. Negative means left. So now you can see the velocity actually increasing from the zero go to 50 meter. So that means there is an increasing the uh, speed already. So we can say therefore the velocity of the motorcycle is 8.33, but go to the left hand side okay so from here the negative from the displacement time graph they always show is opposite direction they never show slow down okay displacement time graph we can put out slow down we can see that down okay when you find negative means they already put up okay when you see the below the graph some more, uh, this one called below the graph, means you already pata ballet, you go more from the original point. So this one called below the graph. Okay, if I want to plot the graph for VT, yeah? okay, if I want to plot the graph for VT, okay, I can convert. So the first one is constant. Okay, so this one is until 5 seconds. Okay, the next one, rest until 8. Okay, after that, they go to the uh, constant for negative already. So this one means the pata balik. Pata balik, I need to show bottom. Uh, so this is pata balik. Okay, for the 12 seconds. Okay, I don't know how many, la, depend, you calculate the gradient. Okay, after that, continue. 12 to 14. Okay, flat again because rest. Okay. Okay, after that 14, they continue to left hand side. So that means I need to draw bottom again. Uh, maybe this one gradient is uh, more than you draw more. I do know the gradient how many. Maybe this one gradient less, this one more. You find the gradient and then you put. So you can find two flat lines is at the bottom. One is above. So this one is go to right. 
Okay, this one is go to left. This one continue go to left. So this one is a graph when you want to convert ST to VT graph. Okay, so this one is later we need to do the question. They call you to convert. So you need to know every part what happened. Okay, so from here, determine the average speed and average velocity from the displacement time graph. Average speed. Okay, speed formula, everybody know. Distance over time. Okay, velocity is a displacement. So distance, that means we just plus all the things. Lah. We call distance. Displacement, that means you need to minus the opposite directions. Okay, so from here, we go to show. Distance travel how many? A, B, 100. Okay, B to C, nothing. Rest. Then C to D, 100 again. After that, you rest. Then you go 50 meters or more. So we just plus together, I get 250 meters. Okay, how about displacement? Displacement, when they go A, B, 100. Uh, when you just come back, C to D, minus 100. Because this one is the left-hand side. After that, you continue left hand side. So we put negative. So finally, your displacement is a negative 50. Negative means what? Move to the left side. Okay? So we find the distance, we find the displacement. So we can do the calculation for speed and also velocity. Okay, distance travel 250. Total time taken. Okay, total time is 20 seconds. So average. 250 over 20. So I get the answer 12.5. Okay, how about the this uh, the average velocity? Average velocity should less because displacement is a less. So overall, negative 50. Yeah, don't ignore the negative. Huh? Okay, in 20 seconds. So we just put negative 50 and 20, then we put negative. Negative stand for opposite direction velocity answer this one is a uh, speed answer okay so this one is normally the question one you need to find okay we do some question example first huh? okay this was a displacement time graph okay in the linear motion determine the velocity of the object for every state every state so we separate lah state a state b and state c okay you want to find velocity so that means you need to find gradient okay because the gradient equal to velocity okay so from here the part a part a what is a gradient so we find the part a gradient is a six over six that's a one velocity only is one Okay, number two, part two is a flat. Flat actually is no gradient. No gradient means zero, la. velocity equal zero. Okay, and the third one, third one you need to find coordinate. Okay, these two point coordinate. So this one should be 20, then 10. Okay, this one should be 12, then 6. And then you're using the coordinate to find the uh, gradient. Okay, so from here, I get it the six, uh, 10 minus 6, 20 minus 12. So positive, I get 0 0.5. Okay, the part C, when the 12 second to 20 second, uh, I get 0 0.5. So this one is how I go to find velocity for different part. Okay, so from here, after I find the velocity for different part, you can see the question what they want. Okay, they want you to plot VT graph. Just now it's a ST graph. So we find the velocity for part A, part B, and part C. Now you need to draw. Okay, part A is 1 ms negative 1, 0 to 6. So you mark until here, 0 to 6, 1 ms negative 1. So this one should be the first velocity, part A. Velocity only 1 ms, negative 1. Okay, part 2. Part 2 is nothing. Zero velocity. So zero velocity, how long? 6 until 12. 
6 seconds until 12 seconds. So from here, I mark until this part. Okay, there's a nothing. So I put zero. Okay, only draw the line at the zero part. And the last one is part C. Part C also is an acceleration. I find it 0 0.5. The velocity is a 0 0.5. So from here, 12 until 20, 0 0.5. So I need to draw 0 0.5. These two lines, the dotted one, suppose let you to see clear la, where they go to drop 20, where they go to drop 12. Uh, this one is to drop until 6, uh, then we can see clear. Okay, so this one is how we convert ST graph to VT graph. Okay, so I separate by three parts part A, part B, and part C. Okay, now we go. Distance, displacement, okay, velocity, and accelerations. Okay, we need to see the situation go to the right positive direction. Okay, now the bicycle, they go to the right. Okay, so from the A, A, they go to the B. Then the butter from here, there's a C, ah, like this. So from here, the situation, they show the graph. Okay, starting, constant. Okay. First 50 seconds, bicycle constant velocity with time. Okay, velocity with time. Got moving or no moving? Yes, moving. Eh? Okay, moving. Eh? This one not rest. Eh? Uh, this one got moving because this one is a velocity time graph. Moving. Okay, moving with constant m 10 ms negative 1. Okay, after that, 50 to 70. Uh, now got moving fast already. The velocity increase from 10 to 15. Mean now you are accelerate. You go faster already. Okay? Then until 170 to 100 means what? Is it opposite direction? 70 to 100. Um, 从七十到一百那也是decelerate的。不是导法,是导法吗? Okay, so from here, 70 to 100 is not opposite direction. 错啊,如果我画 ST graph, ST graph, 一下的话是 opposite, 但是这个是 VT graph, 一下的话不代表 opposite, 下的话是它还是同一个方向,只是慢下来, okay,只是decelerate, okay, so from here, 70 to 100, slow down, okay, slow down, so you find the answer got negative, like the gradient we call deceleration, okay, 100 to 120, rest, okay, zero velocity means rest, okay, now continue, 120 to 150. Uh, this one you can see below the graph. Below the graph is opposite direction. You are turned back. Okay? Turn back how many? Turn back to 10. Okay, this one 10, we just ignore the negative. From 0 to 10, actually you are faster. You are accelerate already. So from the 120 to 150, actually you are accelerate. Okay, but you accelerate in opposite directions. Okay, so this one normally the negative, we just say there's a moving in the same direction of the uh, of the acceleration. So remember last time we learned about negative slowdown. Slowdown always we say opposite direction of the motion. Okay, when you see the under the ground, mean this one is a same direction of the motion because you are accelerate. You just now accelerate, now you also accelerate, but you turn back to accelerate. Okay? This was slow down means what? You are uh up, you are accelerate, but in opposite directions. Mean you are slow down. Okay, woman yao jiang ha slow down, woman hui jiang acceleration in opposite direction with the motion. 如果它是 
turn back 转回来走的话，它又快的话，我们会讲它 acceleration in the same direction of the motion。那你们不要误会，那个 opposite direction 就是哈啊倒返回来走，不是。As I said, we never mention the the turn back and move. We just say about the motion. 我们只是讲它的速度。如果它慢下来，其实它是倒返的速度。如果它快的话，我们讲它的速度是一样方向的速度。Okay, so that means the motion we explain is a fast or slow. Okay, negative motion means they slow down. Positive motion means they fast. Okay, so when you see the graph only VT graph, ah, VT graph, ah, when it just below below the graph means already. Okay, so we go and see explanation for every part. Okay, zero to fifty. Okay, gradient is zero. Okay, therefore the bicycle moving right with the uniform velocity. Okay, sorry. Why the gra uh, gradient is zero? That means constant velocity. Yeah. So uniform velocity, how many? Ten. Okay. The next one is time interval fifty to seventy. Fifty to seventy, you can see the velocity increasing already. So the gradient zero point two five. So this part we can say accelerate. Okay, uniform acceleration zero point two five. Okay, now we're going to see the part 70 to 100. 70 to 100, negative. You find the gradient got negative means uh, deceleration. Okay, you can say deceleration. You can see this one the, in the bracket, how they go to expand. In the opposite direction to the motion of the bicycle. 就是它跟它的motion倒法。你motion一直要向前。但是我慢下来，所以它就是呃、uh, opposite the direction of the motion 咯。motion 要向前嘛，你慢下来，就像我有走，但是我慢下来，我的 motion 就变小了。我的 motion 一变小，我就是 opposite direction of the motions。Okay， so this one is the decelerations。Okay， now we go and see hundred to twenty to one hundred twenty rest。Okay， totally the gradient is zero， velocity also zero。So this one citation that stop. Okay, the last one, 120 to 150. So we also got negative. Okay, acceleration bicycle now is a negative 0 0.3. Okay, now we cannot say deceleration. deceleration. The velocity of the bicycle gradually increases. Okay, ignore the negative. We just take 0 0.3. Actually, the velocity, uh, the acceleration is increased. Okay, the bicycle is accelerated at negative 0 0.3. Okay, let's see the bracket. In the same direction as the motion of the bicycle. Okay, the motion is going the direction is going to So that's why they say same direction of the motion of the bicycle. Okay, so this one is what's the meaning. When it's just below the graph, we ignore the negative. We can see the number increasing. The number increasing means now the car is moved faster. Okay, the negative stands for opposite directions. Okay, so this one is what you need to understand about the bracket, the bracket sentence. Okay, when it just say opposite direction means there's a slowdown already. When they say the direction is the same. Uh, that means now the bicycle keep moving okay, faster and faster. Okay, so area under the graph just now is gradient acceleration. Now area under the graph is a displacement. Okay, so displacement, you need to find the area under the graph. So this one is a part L1, L2, L3, uh, L4. So area actually we no need to care about uh unit okay normally the area you say meter square uh, but now for this one situation you see uh, if i take the area under the graph example for the first part area means uh 50 multiplied 10 is it so 50 the unit is how many s okay multiply 10 okay 10 unit is a ms negative one 
So when I just multiply the S no more already, so I get the answer is a 500 meter. So suppose I want to get meter only. Meter mean displacement. Okay, so how I want to find back displacement, I find area under the graph. So finally, my unit is still meter. Uh. You ne never put meter square. Uh. Okay, so this one I find about the rectangular. Okay, part two, L2, I need to find is a trapezium. Okay, trapezium, you find the area. I get it, that's a 250. Okay, number three, part three, L3, you can find about the triangle. Triangle. All above the graph is a positive. Okay, L4. L4 is a one, three, five. Okay, one, three, five is a triangle. So I get it, it's a negative. Support under the graph negative. Lah. If the question says distance, then we just plus. Okay, we don't care about negative or positive. We just plus together, I get it. Total distance is a thousand and 110 meter. Okay, so the area under the graph you need one part by one part to do uh. you cannot say uh, overall together okay you need to see what shape then you're using the formula for area then you calculate okay now if i get it displacement <clears throat> displacement means 500 250 225 this one is uh, above the graph 975 okay only the l4 is below the graph uh. this one is the uh, opposite direction so you need to minus, so I get overall 840 meter to the right. Okay, above the graph is a positive, then it go to the right. Only 135 go to the left. So this has a total displacement. So you get the displacement, you get the distance, I think average speed and average the velocity, there's a no problem. You just put in. Okay, average speed 100. Uh, 1,110 over 150 seconds, so I get 7.4. Okay, how about the velocity? Velocity, I just get 840 over 150 seconds, so I get the answer is 5.6 ms, negative 1. Normally, the velocity is less than the speed. Displacement always shorter than the distance. Okay, so this one is just from the velocity, they can find two things acceleration and also displacement so we just until here lah. thank you for everyone